of the locks filling up are making the boats oscillate back and forth yep. and back and forth and back and forth exactly. and the guys just have to keep taking up line, take up line on this side, take up line. It's kind of scary because it looks like we're going to crash. I'm James. Yo soy Ana. Ahoy. Three months ago, we started an epic adventure to sail around Cape Horn. I was a Navy navigator aboard a submarine and bought my first cruising catamaran after I got out. But after 45,000 miles, it broke in half. I feel comfortable leaving. Uh, the vessel behind over. But thanks to our amazing subscribers, we were able to kickstart a new boat and embark on our biggest adventure to date. <laughs> bringing some of our awesome backers and all of you along for the ride. I'm going crazy. But the biggest adventure of all was just beginning. Join us on Sailing Zingaro. In today's episode, we show you how to cross the Panama Canal in a sailboat in 2023. The Panama Canal is a significant artificial waterway that connects the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. It's one of, if not the most, crucial engineering achievements of the 20th century. The impact on trade, transportation, and shipping is so profound it's really hard to measure. After four years, back in the Pacific. But before we make the crossing, we'll need to haul out and paint the bottom and install some new gear. Look at this. This is the first time I've ever rode the travel lift. Usually they don't let people do it. Pretty crazy, I like it. It seems like I shouldn't be here. This machine is holding up 50,000 pounds right now. And it's all hinging upon a couple of big shackles and some wire and these big tow rope things. Wow, that's like... Stuff needs to be cleaned. I'm gonna get the vacuum cleaner. I'm gonna get some wipes. This shit needs to be cleaned. It's nasty. Nasty. And then we're gonna put the shaft back through here, put it back in so it comes up to about here, and then we'll clean it all, put it back, put the thing on it, and then shove it back home and be done. It's not a hard install, it's just everything needs to be clean. This, this can't be on it, or else it's gonna ruin the other one. Ruin the last drop. No! Breathe out. Look at the colors, colors, colors around. 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 
Well, the rest of the thing needs to be like this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this entire thing into this, and then we're gonna wipe it down and paint it with this really, really special paint. It's called Prop Speed. It's like a two-part epoxy crazy paint. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be good. All right, so the last thing I have to do is take this off and then install the new one. This is the old Ambassador line cutter. And uh, I'm gonna install a Spurs line cutter. Uh, made in the USA from in Florida. The uh, Ambassador one was just too difficult to get. Because they're made in the UK. <laughs> ah! Oh, damn. Okay, well, this is the old one. That's the base to it. Now I just have to clean this up. And then, uh, ready for the spurs. That was the easiest job I've had the entire haul out. I, uh, I I like this one. I mean, I had the Ambassador one before and I rebuilt that and I know what it looks like and I like this one better. When this thing is moving, if you get a line in your prop, it'll go back behind here and it always wraps here and always wraps here, especially fishing line. And what'll happen is that thing will just cut right through it. You see? What they'll do now is they'll sand it all and sand those pieces. You can see the difference between that and this. These are like little pieces of shells and barnacles and stuff. So they'll sand all of that and then they'll, they'll use one last gallon of paint and they'll paint this one with two coats. So the, the whole boat is uniformly painted. It looks beautiful. So this is copper bottom paint. Uh, I, I called Galapagos to make sure that copper bottom paint was okay. They said yes. Uh, copper based bottom paint is the best that you can get on the market now for as, as far as a blade of paint. The best paint in the world is tin based, but it's outlawed in most of the world because it just kills everything. I mean, if you go and park above a coral bed, the coral bed will be dead in a week. So that nobody uses that anymore. Um, now more copper based paint. Some, a lot of places in the States outlaw copper based paint um, just because it, it is very bad for the environment. But as long as you're moving around and you're not staying at one spot for too long, that ablative quality doesn't really affect the coral right underneath you for that long, as long as you're hopping around. If you're staying somewhere for months at a time, then all that paint is gonna slough off, right, go right down and kill anything that's underneath you. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, it's 3.30 in the morning. It's canal day. Kentucky. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Everybody ready to go? Ready to roll? Ready to go. Got most of the laundry off. There's one or two items still. Yeah, okay. Um, so this is what needs to happen. One of us needs to get the power cable, roll it up, put it in their lazarette, finish the water and then let's just take off and go anchor and then we all can chill, make some coffee, make some breakfast, okay? okay. All right, it's 10 to four. 
we're right on schedule. We're gonna go now. So we're gonna start the engine up. We've already taken all the lines off the boat except a couple. So the wind is uh, wind is kind of coming from here. So that means that we're gonna have to be we're gonna be blown off the dock. So I'd like the after line taken off first, and then jump on the boat. And then the forward line taken off, and then you jump on the boat. Okay. okay. It's gonna be a little more difficult for you, I think. You, you, the boat will be out a little bit, so do like monkey style. Where you <laughs> jump and hang, jump and hang, buddy. Nice driving. Mucha gracia. Bienvenido, señor. Buen dia. Let's see. You want to sit back here or you want to sit inside? When making the crossing, the canal provides an advisor who is required to be on board throughout the entire journey, which is normally just one day now. Cruising boats are normally attached with other cruising boats to get more boats through at the same time. Yeah, we did it. We're tied up to an Entrepreneur 51. Cool boat. We have a captain, professional captain, so that's good for us. And, uh, yeah, we're starting to drift. The Panama Canal consists of a series of locks, channels, and an artificial lake that raise and lower ships as they traverse the isthmus. So the locks filling up are making the boats oscillate back and forth yep. and back and forth and back and forth and the guys just have to keep taking a line, take up line this side, take up line. It's kind of scary because it looks like we're going to crash every time, but that's how it's done. <laughs> you can see these pumps, all, the, all this water coming in very fast just makes so much turbulence. The locks use a system of water chambers and gates to raise the ships from sea level to the level of Gatun Lake which is an artificial lake created to allow navigation through the central portion of the canal. Where are we are now? We're in the lake. We're in fresh water. Gatun Lake serves as a freshwater reservoir, providing the necessary water to operate the locks. Yes, believe it or not, they are water powered. The primary purpose of the Panama Canal is to facilitate international trade by providing a shortcut for ships traveling between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Before the canal was built, ships had to travel all the way around Cape Horn to get to the other side. Wow, wow. Look at that, they stopped the, they stopped the trucks and they stopped the whole boat with the lens. It's crazy. Oh, oh, oh. What if they just broke and the thing came and like crushed us? Not cool. I'm sure that's happened. Has that ever happened? Yes. No, has it really? Oh no, why did you tell us that? <laughs> Only two or three times. <laughs> oh, they're still coming, they're still coming. They're moving it up more. After four years, Back in the Pacific. Hell yeah, this is a great day for Zingaro, great day for me. Thank you. Thanks for watching, man. This is freaking awesome.
Sir. Best advisor in Panama right there, people. Thanks a lot, Victor. You're welcome. <laughs> long day, huh? I feel good, man. Spent a long time waiting I got back to this ocean. Well, you already know everything. Can I be an advisor now? <laughs> <laughs>